Tim Murphy here with Drift Sessions. We're here at Clutch Kickers Round 3, and I got Connor Rosoli here. Connor, tell us where you're from. Uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. Nice. So you're from Knoxville, Tennessee. What did you bring to drive today? Uh, 95, 240SX. Uh, it's got an LS1, uh, full wise fab, uh, Holly system. Uh, that's, that's about it. So is it a bone stock LS? Uh, no, it's a built motor. Uh, I mean, it's naturally aspirated. It makes about 440 on E85. Okay, nice. Um, who built the motor for you? Uh, I actually bought the car like this. Ah. Like this. Yeah. Oh, nice. So you I bought... put a new motor in it this year, though. Okay. Okay. You have any other plans for upgrades? Um... Yeah, I want to put a supercharger on it, put a new motor in it, go over the whole car, change some things. Okay. So how long have you had this chassis? Uh, just about five months. Five yeah. months. And what were you driving before? It's actually my first drift car. I actually just started getting into the sport. It's my first event. So this is your very first event event? Yeah. Yeah. I went to a couple tracks for fun days, and that was about it. Okay, but it was your first competition. Yeah, first competition. Okay, okay so what um, what pushed you to start competing? I don't know. I've just been seeing a lot of people drifting. It looks a lot of fun, so I had to get out there and get my own car. I wanted to get into the sport. Okay, so having uh, probably the one of the lesser experienced drivers out here today, how did... How does that make you feel going against these other guys? I mean, there's definitely a lot of good drivers out here, but I wanted to come hang with the big dogs, so. So, a lot of drivers don't jump into competition as early as you do. What made you, like, or let me reverse that. Why did you make that decision? I don't know. I mean, I've been racing motocross and doing stunt riding and stuff like that. I mean, I feel pretty comfortable in the car, so I think it would be a good experience to come out here and drive with a, a lot of good drivers. Yeah, and we always talk about driving with other drivers and how much that builds you up as a driver in a competitive level. What would you say to those drivers out there that don't really or are afraid to make that jump from grassroots, um, just fun days, to competition? What would you tell them? Um, I mean, it's definitely a lot more stress coming to competition and stuff. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you don't have much experience, but you're out here, you're shredding. Yeah. How, do you feel? How do you feel today? It's a lot of fun. It's definitely fun. Uh, it's a super cool track. A lot of good drivers, so. Okay. All right, do you have any sponsors you or anybody you want to thank? Status Racing, uh, Fast Tech, they've been a super big help uh, getting the car ready for every event and stuff like that. All right, for those of the people that are watching us today, where can they find you on social media? Uh, Connor underscore Oselli on uh, Instagram. Okay. You have a YouTube or anything? Yeah, I do have a YouTube. That's uh, Suzuki Dude 107. Okay, and then you're, so you do have previous race experience though, yeah. correct? Yeah, motocross and stunt riding and stuff like that. How is carry so you're able to carry a lot of experience from that and, and how do you feel that that past experience in other motorsports is helping you out? It's a lot to do with it, I think. Um, I mean, I know how, like obviously the clutch works, e brakes, stuff like that. I mean, how to drive. Uh, I mean, it definitely has a lot to do with it, I think. Yeah, and it has a mental thing too. Mindset, exactly. Yeah. So you yeah, have the mindset. You have a competitive nature already because you competed. Well, Connor, I appreciate your time. Good luck out there. We'll be watching you for more events to come.